I'm Olivia Rossines. And I'm Andres Sotoriva. Welcome to the ICR's new Center for Cancer Drug Discovery. In this building, we are working to outsmart cancer with the world's first Darwinian anti-evolution drug discovery program. Our ultimate goal is to overcome cancer evolution and prevent drug resistance. The building itself will bring together almost 300 scientists, from cancer and evolutionary biologists and chemists to big data specialists and clinician scientists, united in a shared goal. This is the area of the building dedicated to the Center for Evolution and Cancer, which I direct. In our center, we focus on one of the biggest challenges we have in cancer therapy today, which is the emergence of treatment resistance. So cancers change over time, and sometimes they become adapted to current therapies. So a drug that may work very well in the first instance, it stops working. We study this process using Darwin's evolutionary principles, with the objective of designing entirely new treatment schedules and new therapies that have the aim of blocking or delaying this process of resistance. The first two floors of the building are dedicated to biologists like myself. This is one of the many tissue culture labs in the building. We use these rooms to grow cancer cells that can then be used in our research. Leanne is a PhD student studying in my lab. Leanne, can you tell us about your work? I'm looking at some of the different ways cancer cells become resistant to targeted anti-cancer agents and chemotherapies. We know that there are a small number of cancer cells that are able to survive these treatments, and I'm interested in finding out why that is. If we can understand what is different about these cancer cells, we may be able to identify novel anti-cancer drug targets or develop new therapeutic strategies to prevent them from surviving. On each floor, there's a collaboration hub. These breakout spaces provide a vibrant environment for scientists to meet, share ideas, and come up with creative solutions. We are going to bring together scientists developing new cancer drugs with those studying cancer evolution for the first time in the same building. In the crystallization lab, we crystallize our protein targets, our protein cancer targets, uh, and uh, we complex them with our drug molecules. We, in 3D, visualize the protein structure with the drug molecule bound, and that gives uh, our chemistry colleagues a lot of information on how to design better drugs. To accurately dispense our crystallization reagents, we need robotics such as this. So this is a robot that actually dispenses our cancer target and uh, it dispenses it in these well together with the general crystallization reagents. And then after that, we'll seal this plate and store it at a set temperature, and then we wait until the protein crystallizes. Now we have uh, our structural biologists co-located with all of the, uh, the cancer therapeutics unit staff, and this helps actually the integration with our medicinal chemistry colleagues, and it helps our productivity. So we're here on the second and third floors of our new Centre for Cancer Drug Discovery and large part of these laboratories are given over to medicinal chemistry. And the job of a medicinal chemist is rather like a molecular architect. We're rearranging and arranging the atoms into molecular shapes and trying to sculpt those to fit into clefts on the proteins uh, that cause cancer in cancer cells with the aim of getting something that stops their cancer causing function and might be a potential therapy. We work then obviously in collaboration with our biology colleagues on other floors in this building uh, to test those molecules and see how they behave and do they really offer a way forward for treating cancer.
Us as chemists, uh, we'll have to develop the new compounds that hopefully in the future will be the new drugs for cancer treatment. Uh, I've been in the ICR for 18 years and since I started we've been talking about having a new building so it's a bit like a dream coming true, isn't it? Our work as data scientists is playing a key role in the process of discovering targeted treatments for patients with cancer. We are collecting a huge amount of very complex clinical data, like genetics, uh, MRI scans, and much more. We are using computational methods and artificial intelligence algorithms in order to create molecular maps for each patient at the time of the treatment, which is very unique. And this might help researchers here in the drug discovery team and cancer evolution teams to find drugs that might work for that specific patient or a hidden molecular targets that uh, others may miss. The Center for Cancer Drug Discovery is a new exciting opportunity to tackle the problem of cancer drug resistance head first. All of this is possible due to the generosity of those who share our vision to ensure that cancer patients can be treated long term and effectively cured. It's our aim that through the work undertaken in the Center for Cancer Drug Discovery and with your ongoing support that we can make a difference and improve the lives of cancer patients everywhere. Thank you.